Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Factorio. Now, today, we are going to be following on from what I did last time, which is... We need a computer. So now it's some logistics for the walls. Because, current, I'm not that comfortable leaving my base on its own, because there's a risk of my walls and guns being breached. So, what we're going to be doing today is... Now that we have quest chests and whatnot, setting up a small area to create. Right, I need to be here. No, it's here. Create walls and laser turrets to be able to replace any lost remaining attacks. Now, I have done some stuff off camera, most notably, I've plucked these two things down and removed the boat of tanks over here. Plop these two down because, well, I mainly need petroleum gas and, well, the heavy oil is backed up. I also plop this thing down just to get more throughput. This takes the excess heavy oil, breaks it down into, what's it again? Breaks uh, it down into light oil, which then is then broken down into petroleum. So on the uranium front, we have 39. So close. So close. Because <clears throat> something I do, I'm waiting on this and being able to get this and this before I actually start a nuclear power. Because this way, I can convert effectively two uranium 238 into one uranium 235. Which means the random number chance that this gives me is no longer a problem. But anyway, I need to set up a thing. But because I have uh, these guys, I can do this with the robots. Which means no belts. Because, well, it gets really, really annoying. Hmm? Hmm. Well, alright. Okay. So, first things first, stone walls. Stone walls, knees, stone bricks. Three stone bricks. Mm. Oh, yeah, logistics? Yeah. Alright, so I need logistics. Do I have. should have. Or have I used them? Oh, I used them all over here. Alright. But for sure, I have some. Here we go. Hmm. will that do? Uh, production. Yeah, that'll do me ten. Alright, so. I need to grab some stuff and things. Concerts that I can move. There. There. Right, let's get that crafting. Oh, yeah, I also removed the temporary sign setup because it served its function. Actually, the U takes two stone and produce U uh, half a second and U into five. And it's one every three point two five seconds. Alright. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five. You, 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 you. Then we go. Here. 
you, 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 and you. <laughs> that makes my so much easier now that I don't have to go running off to get more supplies every single time. Yeah, one per. Thank you very much. Dink, dink, and dink. There we go. Now. And what's that? Now I need There we go. Alright. That's big production. Actually. Is it thought? I have a puzzle provider chest on me. Okay, fine. Let's go grab the wall. Some of the walls I've got stowed up here. Because. Um, this is good. Oh, looks like there was another attack. Yep, there was. And no damage. Just need to check something. Right quick. Just check control. Alright. Let's see. Will there be any construction robots come out? You got construction robots. Aha! Yes! Actually, have to do. Perfect. All right. So I can then go. I got those. So I can just go past the body chest with those. Don't need to move it around or anything like that. Good. Okay. Right. Um. Then you require high. So what we're gonna do is you. We can plug two of those down. You produce walls, you produce walls. That's the walls. Now, we need lasers. Like I said, it's 20 seconds to make one. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's think. Let us think. 
I guess I need steam, batteries, and electronic prison units. I guess I'm gonna need. I need one a second, but they are produced at two a second, so. I can just. Right. One, two, three. And then you, 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 and you, 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 and you, and then you go like that, you go like that, that, and that, one, We shall go like this. There we go. Can you produce that, that, and that? Produce that, and produce that. You will request complete. Yes. Then we grab you. Hmm. A little complicated, but yeah. There we go. Now, we're at the six. Now, I need to go put in. And I have a perfect spot. You go there and dump into a passive provider chest. Then you. <coughs> I can then plop. Throw I can get there. Passive provider. There we go. Yeah. And there we go. <coughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Actually, can I make more of those? Just to not straddle here. Just because I have been using those in. <laughs> There. Oh, there goes the train for more oil. Yeah. Now. Make it all the robots fly. Actually, let's go grab some more. stacks and then we dump put those in there all right so like this 
I now need customized just for the batteries. Yep, batteries and steel. Right? Yeah, batteries and steel. That would be perfect if it wasn't. Actually, I can make it perfect. That thing goes into that. <clears throat> and I shall. There we go. That's some batteries. Now I need steel. Okay, you must be confused. Very well. Anyway, I'll drop that all. That's provided shit. Alright, that's not on the network. That is. Good. Alright, then. Alright, that's all the logistics. So that's lizards. Now, mm -hmm. I got some needs. Yeah, that's all good. So, one, two, three, four. These guys can pull batteries and put in steel. Batteries. Full. Alright. 20. Let's actually do this. So, 20. to one thingy, then we grab
There we go. Okay. Just need lights. Yeah, I can't actually get a good shot. But actually, something else I need to plug a chest down for. Okay. Ooh, that's an easy to roll for. I have just one thing left. It's perfect. Alright, where is the roll for? Didn't take as long as I was expecting to do all this. Robo ports, robo ports, that. Covers brought here, iron brought here and here, steel and batteries brought to these ones, and what's up? We have food structure. I'm definitely going to be doing stuff like this from now on when it comes to my base. Actually, what do I need in order to make those? Electronic circuits, bronze circuits, and steel chests. So, literally, just and what's it? Provider, passive storage. Yeah, and they all, in fact, the same. So, I could. Pretty much do set like this, where I have one of these, which then feeds the production. Just literally just nick processing units from somewhere else. Also, would need steel chests, chest production. But oh, that was a big one. That's got 24 kills. 24. Wait, no, that's got 8 kills. 30 kills. 86 kills. And 100 kills. Hmm. I think I need to actually move this to the board so I can cover these guys properly. <laughs> fly, my minions, fly. Hmm. Wood then. Hmm. Actually, how many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I actually got the correct amount. Got the correct amount of everything. Actually, yeah. Gotta go up here to drop stuff off. Hmm. 
Alright. Put that stuff on. Actually, I want that. We then need to go down here. Drop you off. Drop you off. Now, plastic. Run down here until I find the first pawn shop, which is this guy. Ditch that. There's a ditch that. Right. And get it from the bat and that, which keeping just for the second conversion. Questions. I need provider chest for this. I've already got a provider chest in the steel. Oh, there goes the battery. We'll just put that in the first slot. I can leave my base to its own devices. And I need to make a little more radars. So I can actually properly cover my base. Because I got blind spot here. Pretty much because of that. I've got this massive blind spot. Actually, let's turn that off. Turn you off. Yeah, there we go. So I need radar down there somewhere to cover this bit. The radar is covered the pretty much the power of my entire power the power system. And that pretty much all the areas. My base are covered. The areas that I actually would use need are under covered. I just want to put one down there, some along here just to cover all of this. Eventually, I will have radars to cover everything. At least within my domain. Actually, let's just right quick. Do I need? I should also set up automated production for that. But, okay. I think what I'm going to do is next time for episode 21 will be make radars and add them to my list. And then, as well as. Uh, the passive provider chest and the request chests make them automatically so that way I can plop them down as and when needed. Actually, what do I need? Can I make. Nope. Aha! There's no report. I could. I very easily could. But actually, I could upgrade. So I already have this. I could go with that. That is a zone by seven. That is a five by five. It's an extra fair bit of space. So I might actually upgrade to that next time. Actually. I do have everything. Hang on a second. Alright. Just run around and got all the resources I'm going to need. So, we're going to end off this episode with power armor. And there it is, right in the bottom corner. Alright. Alright. Let's just pull all this stuff out. Actually, uh, nope. 
could get those, but okay, I don't have it. Let's just be quick. Where would it be? Ah, there it is. I should. Oh, that needs just this military size. Might be able to do that. And I oh, it requires a lot of processing units. It's a four and four, but hmm. but I already sacrificed five squares to solo, so that would definitely. Be so I presume. Uh, yep. I might just go and off camera just wipe out this space. I also need not have to worry about this stuff, so I'm probably going to end up blowing this place to hell. Just to protect my uranium. Actually, I haven't been keeping an eye on it all episodes, so... Yay! We have enough uranium 238. Nope, 235. Let's check. Yeah, 235. We have enough uranium 235 to start the thing. Right, well, that'll do it for episode 20 of Factorium, and I will see you next time. Oh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See ya.